hello everyone in this video i will explain how to find out super key and vp and primary key so first of all we will see what is the definition what is actually super key what is primary key and what is primary key so first of all we will go for super key super key is a combination of col columns that uniquely identify a record in a table so when we say uniquely identify it means a combination of columns uh, which will be having a unique values for every record so that is known as super key for example let's say if we are having a table uh, related to employee so every employee is having a unique id so that employee id will be different for every employee so we can say employee id is a super key so here we will see uh, with help of example if we are having a table with data how to find out super key so we are having a table this table is having four attributes roll number name father's name and code and this is the data so now uh, if we look at the definition of super key any combination of columns which uniquely identify a record so we will see all possible combinations of these attributes one by one and we will see which can identify uniquely or which one not so here uh, if we look at the data for every record if we will look at the roll number this 101 value is only given to first record for other record this value is different so we are not having same value again repeated in any record so we can say roll number is actually unique value for every record it means this attribute actually uniquely identifies every record and this is a fulfilling definition of super key so first super key will be roll number so only this one attribute this column will be considered as a super key. now now we will look at the <coughs> a combination of column so if we look at the combination of roll number and name roll number 101 name Ramesh 102 John so we are not having any record where roll number and name value both repeated like if you can see uh, we are having same name here like we are having Ramesh here we are having Ramesh here as well but the value of roll number different so this set of attributes roll number and name these two attributes also uniquely identifying every record or in other words we can say for every record values of these two attributes will be different you will not find any two records which will be having same value for roll number same value for name it might be possible that we will get same name but roll number will be different and uh, totally it will be different the second super key will be roll number and name combination of roll number attribute and name attribute now we will look at the another possible combination roll number name father's name so this will be also if we have a look of, on our data these three values are different in every record because we are having a roll number that is different for every record so if we are going for any combination which actually include roll number that combination will definitely uniquely identify to every record so this also will be a super key super key any combination of attributes which can uniquely identify record now so here we have mentioned this one as well as a super key now what will be the next possible combination so it will be roll number name father's name and code and this will also uniquely identify record in every record these four value will not be same uh, if we look at here this record and this record name same course same but father's name different roll number different so we are not having any two records which are having same value for these four attributes so this combination also will be considered as super so now we will take another attribute 
So now we will we are taking name only single attribute. So if we have uh, look on this data, we are having record first name equal to Ganesh, and we are having another record with same value. So it means this attribute is not unique. This attribute is not uniquely identifying record, and in, uh, that's implied that this will not be a, a super. Key. So name attribute cannot be taken as a super key. Now we will consider combination of name and father's name. So uh, we are not having any two records which are having same value for name and father's name. We are having records which are having value same for name, but father's name different. So and here we are having father's name same, but name different. So these two attributes. Will be different in every record. So this also will be considered as a super. Key. And then we, we will go for combination name, father's name, co. So if we have look at this combination, this combination also unique in every record. These three values are different for every record. It might be possible that name will be same for uh, two records, or father's name will be same. Or port, but not these three attribute, not all. So this also will be considered as super. Now have a look on father's name. We are only going for single attribute father's name. So in father's name attribute, we are having a value Ram Singh, Mr. Ram Singh, and that value again repeated for another record. So this is not a unique identification. This attribute having values repeated, and in that case, it cannot uniquely identify record. So this cannot be considered as a super key. So this is not a super key. Now we will go for a combination father's name and code. So if we have a look on this data, we are having father's name code. So these two. Attribute value of these two attributes are different in every record. Like if we compare this record with this one, here we are having father's name same, but codes different. So totally, these two attributes value will not be same in any two records. So this also will be considered as super key. Finally, we will consider only a single attribute codes, and in this codes for Every record value has to be different. In that case, only it will be considered as super key. But B tag for first record, and then again B tag for second record, M tag, M tag, B tag. So values are actually repeated. We are not having unique value for every record. So codes will not be considered as super key. So we actually finally concluded that we are having so many super key. We are having B. Super key. So, how do we actually find out these super key? Any possible combinations of attributes which can uniquely identify record. Now, next phase is candidate key. So, candidate key actually selected from the super key set. And what's the definition of candidate key? Candidate key also known as minimal super key, the smallest super key which cannot be, uh, let's say, decomposed, which cannot be divided. Or another definition which we will use to find out candidate key. Uh, so a candidate key is a super key whose proper subset is not a super key. The meaning of uh, this uh, definition is that if we are having a super key and if that super key is having some attributes, let's say three attributes. So when we divide those three attributes in uh, all possible combination. So those combinations should not be a super key. So let's see an example. Then it will be more clear to you. So first we will check for first super key. We are considering first super key. Now in order to check whether this is a candidate key or not, we need to find out its subset and its proper subset. So every set actually having two. Subset. These are known as improper subset. That is that set itself and a empty set. The is also denoted by five. So these are the 
proper subset and there is no proper subset for this attribute so this attribute cannot be divided further and this is a super key so this will be considered as a candidate key so we will write it here so roll number can be considered as a candidate key now go for second one roll number and name and here we will find out its proper subset so what are the proper subset uh, in order to find out proper subset first of all find out all subset and then remove from those subset these two one is empty which is also 5 and that set itself so if we divide these two attributes their further division will look like this one so we are having one set with row number one set with name now we have to look whether this subset is super key or not so if we have if we look at this attribute roll number roll number is already a super key and this combination cannot be a candidate key candidate key means a smallest super key if we divide that super key into different different attributes those attributes must not be a super key so here what we are getting we divided this sub a combination into these subset and the one of subs one subset of this group which is roll number this is a super key already so roll number name cannot be a candidate key same rule will be applied here as well if we divide this combination further we will get some subset and roll number will be one of them and roll number is already a super key so it cannot be a candidate key same rule apply for this one now let's have a look on this one name and father's name let's divide uh, name and father's name so we will get these two proper subset and none of them is a super key see if you can see there is no single attribute with this one so this is not a super key only name is not a super key and only father's name is not a super key so this will be considered as a candidate key so we will write it here and uh, here why we are uh, saying that this cannot be a candidate key so if you can see if we divide this combination further uh, name and father's name will be one of its subset and that subset is already a super key so it cannot be considered as candidate and the last one father's name as four if we divide father's name and course into subset we will get two subsets one will be father's name one will be course and none of them is a super key so it will be used as a candidate key so out of uh, seven super key we got actually three candidate key so candidate key smallest super key or a super key if we find out proper subset of that super key then none of those subset must be a super key so minimum is super key now the last one is the primary key so what will be the primary key so first of all super key are actually calculated what are the super key from super key candidate key actually find out now out of candidate key primary key is decided so we are having actually three options here uh, the data actually we have taken that is a only for demonstration purpose we are having very less number of records and if we actually go for a real data so in real data we are having a huge number of records and in those records it might be possible that a student is having name another student might also having same name and same father's name so in that case it should not be used uh, another father's name and course in real data there is a possibility that father's name and course two students with same father's name and same course so in that case this also should not be used as a primary key but roll number for every student roll number is different so from this candidate key we are finally finished with roll number so we have selected roll number as a candidate key thank you very much for watching